Good Monday morning, Glads. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your KWHS News. Here's the latest news from the Counseling Center. College visits kick off this Wednesday when the reps from CSU Fort Collins visit. Then, on Thursday, January 25th, Western State Colorado University returns for a second visit. Fort Hayes State will be here on Tuesday, February 13th, and we have a Valentine's Day visit scheduled with Colorado Mesa University. UCCS will be here on Thursday, February 15th, then Adams State on Thursday, February 22nd, and finally, Lamar Community College is scheduled for Friday, February 23rd. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, listen up. If you're interested in taking cosmetology classes next year, that's right, the classes where you learn to become a hairstylist, nail technician, skin expert, or makeup artist, then stop by the Counseling Center to sign up for more information. In senior news, senior shirts are still available in the counseling office for $15. Get yours now so you can wear it for the senior panoramic picture. Speaking of senior panoramic, mark your calendars because that, that photo is scheduled for Tuesday, February 6th at 7 a.m. Remember to wear your senior shirt. And seniors, remember, if you want your photos included in the yearbook or senior slideshow, send them to Curie Carmody at this email. Photos must be of seniors only. And finally, from the Counseling Center, juniors interested in attending the Career Start program at Pikes Peak Community College next year, sign up to see Mr. Thiel by January 24th. Slots are limited, so get yourself to the Counseling Center ASAP. Coming up, we're checking in with Miss Betsy for the lunch menu for today and tomorrow. Happy Monday, everybody! Today we're having cheeseburgers in the cafeteria, and tomorrow, chicken quesadillas. I hope you all had a great time at the carnival this weekend. See you later. Bye! Thanks, Miss Betsy. Just a friendly reminder from the cafeteria. If you need to add money to your lunch account, you can do it online or see Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. When we come back, we'll have club and fundraiser news. But first, we're throwing it to Moose Santos for a Gladiator Sports update. Happy Monday, Glads! I'm Moose Santos with your Gladiator Sports Update. With just a few more weeks before winter sports wrap up, several spring sports are drumming up interest before practices start. Mark these informational meetings and contacts on your calendar if you're interested in participating. If you missed the girls' tennis meeting on Friday, stop by Mr. Washington's room for more information. Boys Swim and Dive has their informational meeting tomorrow in room 110 during lunch. See Mrs. Wickbird for more details. If soccer is your sport, then ladies, mark Wednesday, January 24th on your calendars for the after-school meeting in room 130. See Miss Sardina if you cannot attend. Off-season workouts for football team are underway. See Coach O in Bowers Gym for the schedule. If you're interested in track this year, see Coach Majerison in Bowers Gym for that team's details. In forensics news, the team traveled to La Junta for a competition on Saturday and continues to win several categories. This week, the team travels to Pueblo on Saturday for a meet. Our Lady Glads keep pressing their opponents. The ladies toppled the Titans from TCA on Saturday. The ladies are back at it tomorrow night against Canyon City on the road. The game starts at 7 p.m. Our men's basketball team traveled up the highway to take on the TCA Titans on Saturday and brought back a huge W. The boys are home tomorrow night against Canyon City at 7 p.m. in Bowers Gym. Come shake it up with them. We'll have those scores for you on Wednesday. The wrestling team participated in a weekend tournament at Doherty with some respectable placements. The ladies swim team raced at Fountain Four Carson on Friday afternoon and continues to make great waves. That's it for our sports update. Good luck to all our sports teams this week. Have a great Monday. I'm Moose Santos. Now back to you, Corinne and Jeremiah. Thanks, Moose. Since we're in scheduling mode, there are several really great opportunities available next year. First, KWHS wants you. If you are interested in joining our staff next year, please stop by room 102 where the magic happens to pick up an application. Applications are due on February 2nd. The yearbook needs a few good staff members too. If you'd like to join the crew that preserves school memories, pick up an application for Miss Kennedy in room 104 ASAP. Applications are due by January 31st. Sophomores and juniors, time is running out to apply for the next year's teacher cadet class. Applications are available in room 202. Don't miss this great opportunity. Students interested in the SEP program next year, Ms. Griggs is holding an informational meeting on Friday, January 26th at lunch in room 131. And finally, Renaissance applications are now available on the School Wires page. Everyone is eligible to apply this time, including freshmen. All applications are due Wednesday, February 7th to Ms. Sardinia in room 130, no 
later than 3 p.m. No late applications will be accepted. See Ms. Sardinia for more information. If you have donations for the Pennies for Puppies campaign, please bring those to room 103 and Ms. Melton will take those off your hands. Remember, all donations go to the Humane Society. Speaking of student cabinet, thanks for a really fun winter sports assembly. Just a reminder, student union is open again in the library every afternoon from 3 to 4.15. Be sure you have a sticker on your ID. Finally, students and teachers, golden tickets are coming soon. Teachers, remember to hand out your golden ticket to that one student among all your students who deserve it. Students, if you're a lucky recipient of the golden ticket, remember to deposit it for a chance to win some very cool prizes. That's all for our news today. Have a great Monday. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great week.